This is going to be painful. Off cuts. They're a problem in everybody's workshop. And the more projects you do, the more you have. Tell a lie, sometimes it's not even from a project. I've just taken pity on something and I don't like to see things go to waste. And the thing I'm always wondering is, how do you know which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of? <laughs> and actually, I really don't think there's a way of telling. And there's always something that I can use them for. But if you don't get rid of them, this happens. <laughs> so I've got this big plastic storage underneath my workbench. And believe it or not, this was full when I even moved here. And as much as I've had good intentions to use them all up, I've never seen the bottom of it in the space of two years. Any There's gonna be some changes around here, so I have to get rid of them now, or at least sort them out. Now I think it's time to start parting with the really small pieces, but I often use these as spacers, shelf supports to remove any bowing, or even little handles on projects. They're gone. I think it's time. But I also really like to use these just to mix wood filler on, or a bit of wood glue. Or for example, if I'm using 12mm plywood, I can use an offcut to draw where the screws are going to be on a box. Or even mark on them as a depth gauge, for example if I'm cladding a shed and I want the overhang to be exactly the same. And the reason I don't like getting rid of these ugly bits of chipboard is I find them useful as worktop savers while I'm drilling holes in something above it. And eventually I will throw these. When it comes to thin pieces of plywood or backboards, I actually like to turn them into like plywood gussets to nail things in place and keep things square while I'm working on them. Or as ugly as it was, the time I cladded a box to throw fabric in. And when it's a workshop project, thankfully it doesn't need to look pretty. And I have been known to make some drawers out of them. That's not great. Get rid. Oh, these little pieces are great as uh, trims, but the tiny MDF pieces aren't as good unless you're nailing them onto something. I find even pre-drilling and screwing them, it tends to split. And as a helping hand, I'll cut some at the same length and use them to prop up a shelf while I'm screwing it to a project. And let's not forget test cuts and prototypes. Well, I finally got to the bottom of this pile. Here I've got some proper cherry wood that's been seasoning. I'm sure I could find something useful for that. A few good lengths of old picket fences, some fairly long lengths, and quite a few dowels, which are definitely not going because I found them useful making a shop stall the other week. And just by having a sort out, I didn't realise I had so many offcuts of tongue and groove, which at this size, I think could make a very small dog kennel or another birdhouse. I'm sure you can guess what this was used for. And when it comes to really chunky pieces of wood, one of my favourite uses for these is to screw a piece of wood down and I can rip it with a circular saw. And that's a nice workaround of not using a table saw. And how could I nearly forget making jigs? The problem is though, I'm too tight to even throw these away once I've done with it. I've taken it outside, it's gone now. And the reason I can't part with this large one, it's perfectly square at the bottom and I often use it as a reference. For example, when I do my plant ladder and eventually I'll chip away at it and use a bit at a time. I don't save these often, but even the tiny things are great for plugging screw holes. I think that's a lot more manageable for now. Let me know how you'd use the 